One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I got here for you today is an awesome uh, 1979 Grumman Curbmaster. It's the old Mac Tools truck. If you're in a business like mine, I'm sure you spent plenty of money on a truck that looks somewhat like this. Maybe been Snap On, maybe been Mac Tools. But you know, all those guys know all the mechanics. And this thing, in every way, shape, or form, as far as we can tell, has been meticulously maintained. Um, there's a rebuilt transmission. It has a gear vendors over underdrive, which I'll tell you what, if you're gonna drive a big rig like this, you kind of want that over underdrive on it. It's a really nice option to have. Um, small block Chevy 350. Camera went out there. Everything has been rebuilt on it, on the tranny. Motor, it's all been redone. Tires are brand spanking. I'll show you. Call anytime, Nathan, 406-546-8748, oneownercarguy.com. Um, I'm going to go around and just show you any of the minor damages. Um, it's hard to get the whole thing in frame. It's a super long truck. Windows on it are all good and everything. Um, you get miscellaneous chips just in different places in the front. I'll show you under the hood and everything else. Just miscellaneous tiny chips around here. There's a couple more. Lens is kind of, a couple of pieces are chipped right there. Um, stress marks because it's old. A couple of these, the, the housing on that one is chipped around it, but that's good. The housing here is chipped. Um, this one's just stress marks from being an old light. Um, and like I say, paint looks good. Um, we got the window squirters. Is that window squirters? I think so. Got the wipers, everything good. You can see the chips or stuff on the white paint above that. Um, going down the sides, it's clean, man. A little bit of wear where the guy was stepping in and out and stuff. A uh, couple little marks there, probably where they took off stickers. Little marks here. Um, hi, come on in. A chip there. Chips around that. Um, point of, there's miscellaneous random little scrapes, and it's probably where they took off the big logos all down this side. Um, this piece is dented up just a little bit. Something's happened over the years. I mean, it's a 1979. It's hard to imagine. Underneath this thing, clean as can be. Nice hitch, nice webbed bumper for stepping in and out. I don't know what they had right here. They had something there on both sides. Don't know what that could have been. Um, LED lights on parts of it. A little corrosion, like surface where it's being chipped right there. And ah, some scratches here and little chip marks here. Just here and there type small damage, little scrapey here and here. Not all dented up, not all dinged up. This thing's straight as it gets. That's all there is to say about it. It really, really is. Um, there's some kind of a, something was there. Clean. And look at these tires. <laughs> all of them. Little titties all over the side. New set of Saloon 225-70R195. And it's got a propane hookup. Some kind of a heater in here. Show you all that. There's not much to talk about on this side of it. It's just a really, really clean, or either side. It's a real chrome mirrors. And little marks there. A couple little marks here. See, this might come off. Yeah, that's part of the sticker. Yeah, that stuff will just come right off my fingernail. So, a little bit of detailing, and we'll make it look even better. Still got these tags on the tires on all six of them. Just six of these costs. This lane is dings and stuff on the hubcap, but they're rather straight. Um, this one, a little bit of corrosion starting. Um, they're in great shape, man. I'm going to show you the other side just to where, make sure and show you that all the tires are just like that. Hey. And here's the last of it. These are just, the guy just put them on. Hey, that one doesn't have the white thing. Maybe that one fell off. This truck has super low miles, very well maintained. This paint is amazing. I don't know what year they painted it as a Mac Tools truck, but I know it was a long time ago. 
and it's held up man this thing is in great shape gear vendors over under drive it's a different time of the day here i'm gonna go around and show you again you see the different lighting it's about as clean as it gets i mean i thought it was like a 90s at first before i seen it from the other side i couldn't see the nose but man a 79 it's unheard of to have a classic like this this clean and a working rig well, I mean, this is the Mac Tools guy. He doesn't really do much, but drive around and sell stuff to people. Take advantage of us. The tools that cost way too much. Well, I don't know. Lots of Mac Tool fans out there. If you're a Mac Tool fan, you can have the Mac Tool truck. They can call you the Big Mac Daddy. So, that's the outside. I'm going to pop the hood, show all that stuff. We're going on a test drive and all that. And whether you're going to use this for work, van life, RVing, turn it into a house, I don't know, man. You're not going to find a cleaner one, that's for sure. Underneath the hood is just as clean as can be. Dual interstate batteries. All the right stuff. Nice big old is that double pumper on there. I don't know. It's a pump. It's a pumping though. It works great. We drove this thing back from Helena. And it's about 180 miles or so. And right up the passes, no problems. Over under drive, the, um, the gear vendors works amazingly well. I'm gonna close this. Lots of new parts. I don't know if you've seen, there's a new master cylinder underneath the hood. I always liked their logo. It reminded me of like the 50s type thing with the old Maytag man or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna go show you inside. We'll take some pictures in there and then we'll get to moving and shaking, act going down the road. Actually, wheel wells. Absolutely great condition. I'm going to show you one of the back ones as well. Same thing. Just great shape. Super clean rig. You could say I'm raving about how clean this thing is because it's super clean. It's so clean. Look at this. Camera went off again. This thing is so dang clean. Look at the seat. They had to have redone this with the the foul crocodile or alligator. All the gauges and everything. You got your gear vendor over under drive right here. There's the box for it and all the electronics plus whatever's on the um, the transmission. Blower. They carpeted the back and they put a bed in. This bed flips up onto the wall. Um, there's this, there's a heater under here. Some kind of heater, I don't really know. I haven't looked into it. This is super cool though. All the drawers say Mac Tools on it. It's gonna be a computer type setup, a desk. You even got skylights, two of them. Um, a couple places, like there's a, a screw out there and a couple little places like that. But for the most part, it's got paneling on it and it looks great. You could put one there, screw. Um, need an interior, need an interior handle there. I'll open it from the back and show you. You got a inverter. All right, here's a view from the back. As you can see, plenty of space in here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the bed up now. I'm trying to make my video for the night on this uh, Mac Tools truck, and I'm missing them come off the truck, but here comes the blue truck with the Smitty built winch and all that. Same thing. Thing's nice, man. I want to follow it. Dude, manual, it's a nice truck. Now it's kind of nifty. The bed comes up in two parts. And so you could have like a seat here or what have you. Also, there's a door going from the front to back. Hi, Vlad. Hi. And this here opens up. I gotta pay this transporter here. Let me get like that. And that's that. I'll be right back. I'm gonna do some payment here. So I think I showed everything. Door going to the front there that you can close off. You can park this thing on the street forever and nobody would know the difference. One more look from this way with the bed up and all. Nice rig. Now I really do believe it's the original Miles. This is a Manning. Look at the Manning. I screwed that on there. This is the old Manning. 
over this matting, which looks great. And we just kind of uh, wet rag and soap and water a little bit on this, and looks clean as can be. Um, this thing runs great. Like I say, 73,000. There's the wear on the brake pedal. You figured there'd be a lot of stopping and going in town. It's from Helena. Jeez, man. That's amazing. Door open, door closed. It's all your choice. Good truck. I had to show that thing starting again. It starts so nice. Okay. I'm going to wait for these guys. Alright. Here we go. Thing runs nice. Runs nice, shifts nice, stops nice, and with that gear benders. It is super cool, especially if you're going up passes and stuff. And being as long as this thing is, it's 23 and a half feet bumper to bumper. And being as long as it is, it does turn, I guess you could say, on a dime. I mean, a lot of my Ford one tons had trouble making that. That's that, man. This truck, this car goes. Now I usually do it right here, but I've got it blocked with my Mercedes Unimog. I just realized that. Dang it. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for an exceptionally long amount of time until we get room because my Unimog is blocking. Now, any kind of cars you need, give me a ring. Just got a fire truck in. All kinds of stuff, man. This place is full up. Big windows. You can really see out of this thing nicely. And I'll tell you what, like I say, you can park this thing on the street and they never know you live in it. That's kind of cool. Forget paying for an RV park. Just pull into town, stay at the Walmart. Okay, all kinds of cars for sale. All kinds of trucks. Just got a dent side Ford in. You seen that Unimog out there? You see the fire truck? That's that. Okay. There's your gear vendors. All that time I didn't realize I had the heater on. And the heater also has an extra blower. Oh wow. That's blowing some air out, that's for sure. One thing you really notice on this, I mean, not only the fact that it's aluminum and there's no rust, there's no dents and dings when you talk about. I didn't see a ding on this thing going around it, man. It is just clean as can be, going up both sides and everything. Someone really maintained this. Now, there is a ding on this I mentioned, but not on the whole, the whole. There's gotta be something I'm missing. There's gotta be a ding somewhere. Well, that's the deal. That's the truck. If you got any questions, you can call me up, 406-546-8748. Should be all kinds of videos, and I mean, it's all kinds of pictures of it on there, on the website, and all kinds of videos on my channel. Make sure to subscribe, like, just got a Chrysler Cordoba in. Not only that, got a really cool uh, Plymouth Fury 3. In, in fact, the plates are Fury 3. So, cool dent side fours. The Curbmaster is something else though, man. Two-door Tahoe up there. Woo! Suburbans. And this bad boy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, check out some of my other videos. Call me up. 406-546-8748. We'll talk to you.